Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Hunt. Today I'm coming at y'all with probably the most in depth dribble tutorial I posted all year. So make sure you do drop a like, sub, turn on post notifications. It's very much appreciated, and everybody is welcome to the family. As you could clearly see, this is a very long video. I went over a lot of different dribble moves, pulled the hand cam up, went super in depth, which also means this took a lot of time to make. So if y'all could get this to 500 likes, I'd be very much appreciated. I'm not going to waste no more of your time. It's a long video as is, so we're just going to jump straight into it. Now I'm going to tell you real quick how this is going to go down. I got my small guard and my tall guard. So we're going to start off with the small guard. I'm going to show you the SIGs and I'm going to go in and I'm going to teach you basically every single move I could think of off the top of my head. And then I'm going to switch to my tall guard, show you the SIGs, and then teach you every single move I could think of off of the top of my head. Now with that being said, there's a lot of dribble moves that you could do on both builds and that I will tell you, you know what I'm saying, before you could do this move on both builds. You could do this move on all builds. So then you know it's for tall and small guards if you're going to watch the entire thing. Now, one last thing to talk about before we get into the video is I don't have a live hand cam. For some reason, whenever I try to plug my hand cam into my remote and try and get it actually live feed, this is what happens. It says, please reconnect controller. So if anybody knows a fix, let me know in the comments. That would be very much appreciated. The way I'm going to show you guys the hand cam is this. There will be a clock up. And with the clock, I will tell you guys like, hey, hold R2 and then flick your right stick straight up 12 o'clock. And then I'm going to show you guys with the controller, basically, you know, R2 straight up 12 o'clock. And then you guys will see, okay, that's how you do the move or like the nutmeg down to the right and then straight up. I'm going to show you guys everything with the hand cam super big like this. And then I'm going to basically just show you the moves in the my core and tell you how to do them in the my core as well. So it's going to be a little bit of a mix up here, but it should be very easy to understand with the clock and with the controller this big. You should be able to see everything and it should be honestly almost easier than a regular hand cam tutorial when it comes to learning because it won't be in real time. Sometimes in real time, you're flicking your stick super fast. It's hard to see what's going on. What. You got to slow the video down. So this might even be better. So let me stop wasting time. I apologize for the super long intro, but let's just hop, let's just hop straight into it. Let's teach you guys these drill moves and get everything under books. So I made a 5-9. I'm on my small guard right now. These are the dribble moves for my small guard. When I hit starter 4, I'm going to drop an updated dribble tutorial and an updated SIG video based off of all the new dribble moves I add to my bag. And if I have new jump shots, I'll post that too. So the Patty Mills, the Steve Francis, I'll post updated combos and stuff like that as soon as I hit starter 4. But as of right now, these are the dribble moves I'm rocking on my small guard. If you got 92 ball handled, these are the six to equip. Now, with that being said, let me go ahead and show y'all some of these moves. So the first move I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach you all the meta stuff first. When it comes to meta, I mean like the escape spam. Teach you that first. Teach you the, you know, behind the back spam. Because the behind the back spam is another thing a lot of people are, you know, doing. Teach you how to do the step back and teach you how to do the 720 step back. So I'm going to teach you the meta stuff first. The real meta stuff that all the guards are using in all different modes and all the different scenes. So first things first, the escape spam, right? This is what it looks like. If you trigger the hop jumper. Now the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper, this is a speed glitch, right? So Jordan Clarkson hop jumper, if you trigger the opposite hop jump like that, it'll trigger a speed glitch where your player moves completely different. All you have to do is just hold R2 and hold your right stick straight to the opposite side the ball's in. So let's say I do a crossover to the right hand. R2, right stick, straight to the left. Let me pull up the clock so I can tell you guys. If the ball is in your right hand, it would be 9 o'clock. If the ball is in your left hand, it would be 3 o'clock. So that's how you guys are going to do the hop jumper, right? Let me show you real quick with this so then you guys can see. You know, um, the hop jumper, you're holding R2, and then your right stick is either going straight to the left or it's going straight to the right, either one. So that's how you guys do the hop jumper. And when you trigger that same side hop jumper like that, you know that opposite side hop jumper? then it'll trigger a speed glitch it'll make everything look completely different in a second i'll show you guys actual proof that it is a real speed glitch 
Now, with that being said, while I got the hand cam up, I'm going to show you guys how to do the escape move because the escape move, you know, is part of the escape spam, and I'm going to have to teach you guys how to do that. So to do an escape move, right, you're going to hold R2, and then you're going to flick your right stick diagonally up to the opposite side the ball's in. If the ball's in your left hand, it will go up to the left just like you're seeing on the screen. If the ball's in your right hand, wait, yeah, if the ball's in your right hand, it will go up to the left. If the ball is in your left hand, it will go up to the right. So just like you're seeing on the screen, that's exactly how you would do it if you want to do an escape, right? You're just up to the left or up to the right. Super easy, super simple. When it comes to the clock, that would be pretty much in between 10 and 11 and in between 1 and 2. So just up to the left, up to the right. That's how you guys do an escape. And let me show you guys real quick the escape into the hop jumper so then you guys can see that in action, right? So the escape, R2, right stick diagonally up to the opposite side the ball is in. That's the animation you're going to get. The Jordan Clarkson hop jumper, I already told you, R2, right stick, opposite side the ball is in, straight. So if the ball is in your right hand, straight to the left. Ball is in your uh, left hand, straight to the right. But, you know, you can't do it to, I'm a left-handed my player, so I can't do it to my right hand. I can only do it to my left hand. That's the only flaw with this hop jumper is that you got to do it to the opposite side. You have to do it with the opposite ball hand. So if you're a left-hand player, you got to do it out the right hand. If you're a right-hand player, you got to do it out the left hand. But that's how you do the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper. That's how you do the escape. When you pair those together, that's also another combo you guys should learn because, bang, it's super easy. It misdirects people, and it's super nice. Now, when it comes to the speed glitch, you guys are going to see when you do the escape spam after activating the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper, the speed glitch, it looks insane. Do you see the way my, my player is, like, low-key moving around the court? Like, hold on, bro. I'm low-key selling the bag on the escape spam. The escape spam doesn't look like this without the Jordan hop with the without the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper activated. He stays still a little bit more and he doesn't move around as glitchy as you guys just seen. My my player kind of like he kind of like just glides almost when you do it with the escape spam. When you don't, as you guys can see, your my player is staying pretty stiff. He's not really getting He's not really moving as much as he was or getting as glitchy as he was with the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper. Now, when you master this and get it down, it don't matter. Hop jumper activated, hop jumper not activated. It doesn't really matter. It's still super overpowered. As you guys can see, that speed boost out of it is super overpowered. So the last thing you need to know, you know how to do the escape. And you know how to do the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper. So you know how to do those two things. But you need to know how to do the hesitation so that you can combo it together and you can rock it like that. You see how my, my player moves so much? It's like he's gliding. That's how you know the speed glitch is activated because your my player doesn't move the same way as he would if it wasn't activated. But the last thing you need to know to do this escape spam is the hesitation. To do a hesitation, you're going to hold R2. Flick your right stick straight to the same side the ball's in. So if the ball is in your left hand, straight to the left, 9 o'clock. Ball is in your right hand, straight to the right, 3 o'clock. Super easy. Let me pull up the hand cam real quick, show y'all how it's done. It's pretty easy, man. So I'm going to show y'all the full motion, and I'm going to show y'all just the hesitation, right? So if you're doing the hesitation, you're holding R2, and you're flicking your right stick straight to the same side the ball's in. Ball's in your right hand, like I said, straight to the right. Ball's in your left hand, straight to the left. Like I said, super easy. That's how you do the hesitation. Now, when you piece the hesitation with the escape spam, this is basically how it would look, right? So you would do the escape, same side hezzy. Escape, same side hezzy. Escape, same side hezzy. Escape, same side hezzy. So you're basically just flicking your right stick diagonally up, and then straight to the same side. So diagonally up to the opposite side, and then straight to the same side. Diagonally up to the opposite side, straight to the same side. And the more you get that motion down, the easier it'll be for you to just sit there and 
you know, sit there and spam it and get it down and do it super easy. So it's diagonally up and then straight to the same side. Bang. Bang. That's how you would do the escape spam. You would just do that. Bang. It's just doing an escape, hezzy, escape, hezzy, escape, hezzy. That's all you're doing. Pretty easy, super simple. I hope that this hand cam method that I'm trying isn't too bad. You know, I'm trying something different to try and teach you guys a little bit better than I usually do. So hopefully it's not too bad. You guys will have to let me know in the comments how you feel about it, if you like it, if you don't like it. But that's pretty easy. Like I said, R2, right stick diagonally up to the opposite side and then to the same side. So you're just basically doing this regular hezzy after you do the escape. Escape, regular hezzy. Escape, regular hezzy. That's all you're doing, and you're just getting it down faster. Bang. So that's the first three moves. I taught you guys the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper, the escape, and the hezzy. So you got the escape spam, the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper. Another thing I'm going to tell you about the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper, it gives you an insane speed glitch. I already told you that, but it cancels every single move as well. So Jordan Clarkson hop jumper, you can use that to cancel a ton of moves on this game. And it's, it's honestly super overpowered. Like you guys can see, just a regular crossover. You could cancel the escape. You could cancel a bunch of different moves with this. So Jordan Clarkson hop jumper, definitely one of the best hop jumpers in the game and something you're going to want to add to your bag. The next thing we're going to go over, the regular snatch back. This is one of the most effective moves to get open that's super basic. It's kind of like using a LeBron step back last year. It's a move that catches people. If you're good at rim running and you make it look like you're going to rim run and then you snatch back and you just mix it up with different stuff, it's super hard to guard. Honestly, it is, bro. So the snatch back, just the regular snatch back is definitely something you're going to want to learn. After I teach you the regular snatchback, I'll teach you that snatchback. So to do the regular snatchback, it's super easy. You're just going to hold R2, flick your right stick straight down. Bang. Snatchback. Super easy. If you're running while you do it, you'll get that type of animation. So you want to make sure you're standing still to get that good animation. You know, if you're going to rim run, stop fully and then hit them with the snatch. So that's how you do the snatch back. It's just R2 and then straight down on the right stick. I'll pull up the hand cam. With the hand cam, I'm going to show you how to do the regular snatch back. And I'm going to show you how to do the 721. So then you guys know how to do them both. And then I could get into showing you the 720. So the regular snatch back, like I said, let me make sure this is on the controller. All right, it's on the controller. R2, straight down. Super easy. Everybody could do that one. Easy. You know, some of these moves are so easy that it's just R2 straight down. I mean, everybody can do it. Snatch back, super easy. It's basically like the LeBron step back last year. It's just easy to do. Everybody could do it. Now, to do the 720 spin snatch back, you need to run forward or run to any side, basically. You just need to be running. And then you're going to want to hold R2. Wait, let me see if you got to hold R2. My bad, y'all. I'm low-key selling the back. Selling the back. Yeah, you're going to... Wait. I don't think you hold R2, man. Yeah, you hold R2. Alright, my bad. I just needed to make sure for y'all so then I wasn't telling y'all how to do something wrong. But you're going to hold R2 while you're running forward. And you're basically going to do a spin with the bottom of your controller. So with the clock, this would be about 3 to 9, right? 3 to 9. So you're going to start off at the right and then you're going to make your way to the left. That's basically what you're going to want to do. And then after that, you flick straight down on the right stick. So hold R2, run forward, half spin, bang. That's what you're going to want to do. So you just do a little rotation like this from three to nine. And then you flick straight down on the right stick. And that's just how you do it, bro. You got to be running when you do it. You got to be running. So you just running. You do a little spin and straight down. That's how you guys do it. Depends on how long, you know, how long you wait will give you different animations. So let me show you an example, right? How long you wait to flick down on that right stick. So if you just do the spin real quick with the right stick and then flick down, you'll more than likely get that one right there. So that's the basic one. But if you wait a second, you'll get this one. Hold on. If you wait a second, sometimes you could get that Stizo 720. I get it sometimes. I mean, it's, it's something that's 50-50. You kind of got to get the 
you got to get the animations right and just let it play out you know what i'm saying you got to let it play out for a minute before you do the snatch boom the Steezo one it looks like to get that one to trigger more consistent you run to the side but yeah it's it's basically all about timing you just sit there you rotate that right stick from from three to nine and then from there you just flick straight down it's literally all you do you can do this running to the right you can do it running to the left you could do it at a lot of different angles. So that's how you do the 720 spin. That's how you do the regular snatch back. So now you know the escape spam. You guys know the Jordan Clarkson. You know the regular snatch. And you know the 720 snatch. So with that being said, the next move that I'm going to teach you guys is just some regular standstill combos, right? So the aggressive breakdown combo, John Moran, obviously this is what it looks like. It was a big thing last year in the game. So it's still a big thing this year. Now, doing that, you're just holding R2 and flicking your right stick straight up to 12 o'clock. Super easy. I'll show you it on the hand cam in a second, but it's just R2, right stick straight up, boom. Now, this move is really good to piece with the escape, with the escape spam, with the snatch back, with all of that. So, let me show you an example. As you guys can see, it's just really good standstill combos. It's good ball. It's good ball for real, man. So let me show you guys real quick how you could do. Well, I already told you guys how you could do the R2 flick straight up. Now I'm going to show you guys one more move real quick, and then I'm going to teach you them both with the hand cam because I don't want to spend too much time just going straight back and forth. I want to kind of make it, you know, a little bit more fast paced here. So first one, John Morant, aggressive breakdown, R2 straight up, bang. Next move I'm going to teach you guys is this step back. I mean, not behind the back. To do that, you're going to do the hesitation I taught you earlier. So just do a regular hesitation. And then after that, you're flicking diagonally down to the opposite side the ball is in. So let me show you this with the hand cam real quick now that we're at this part. The aggressive breakdown combo, right? R2 straight up on the right stick. That's how you do the John Morant aggressive breakdown combo. R2 straight up so literally just r2 straight up bang super easy everybody could do it you could cancel that into the escape you know aggressive breakdown into the escape into the snatch back whatever you want to do so that's pretty easy super simple when it comes to the behind the back start off with the hezzy like i told y'all r2 same side the ball's in balls in your left hand straight to the left balls in your right hand straight to the right so just start off with a hesitation after you do the hesitation, you're going to flick diagonally down to the opposite side the ball's in. So if the ball is in your right hand, down to the left. Ball is in your left hand, down to the right. You guys are seeing what I'm saying here? It's just down to the opposite side. Pretty much the same way you did the behind the back. And every other year, you just have to do a hesitation first to get it to trigger. Super easy, super simple. That's how you do the behind the back. That's how you do the jaw aggressive breakdown. Those are really nice moves that you could piece into those combos. So with that being said, you now know how to do this. Uh -huh. That's good ball. You know how to combo a little bit now. You see, you're making progress. Now, another thing I'm going to show you that you could piece into here is the regular breakdown combo. The regular breakdown combo, you're just flicking straight up with the right stick, no R2 at all. So no R2 at all, straight up on the right stick. You can also piece this into the escape. You could piece it into a lot of different moves and kind of just, you could really speed boost straight out of it if you want to. Piece it into the snatch back. As you guys can see, that's just another move that you could piece into your combos and just use you feel me now i like the tall guard regular breakdown combos and aggressive breakdown combos a lot better than i like the small guard ones but that's just my personal preference there's still a lot of really good ones in the game and still a lot of really different ways that you guys can piece these combos up and use them now another thing that i didn't go over but i will show you real quick wait yeah um is I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I just taught y'all a move and didn't show y'all how to do it with the hand cam. So if I just did that, I'm sorry. But 
uh yeah the regular breakdown combo yeah that's why i didn't teach y'all with the hand cam super easy but i will show y'all it real quick i don't want to skip over any moves and not show you how to do it with the hand cam because it's just straight up so aggressive breakdown combo is literally just straight up on the right stick super easy to trigger super easy for everybody to do even though it's easy i still got to bring up the hand cam i'm sorry bro this video is getting long already man but all right so that's how you do that so now you guys know pretty much all the basic and simple comp guard combos you guys know the 720 spin you guys know a lot of standstill combos and whatnot so you guys are pretty much you know you're getting close you're getting close there now the next thing we got to go over the nutty nutmeg bro the nutty nutmeg bro y'all need to know how to do the nutmeg so to do the nutmeg what you're going to want to do is you're going to flick your right stick diagonally down to the opposite side the ball is in pretty much like you're doing the behind the back right so let me show you guys how you're going to do it with the remote here because this is going to sound confusing when i tell you guys it without showing you guys the controller so to do the nutmeg let's say the ball is in your left hand right run straight up the court balls in your left hand you're going to flick your right stick diagonally down to the opposite side the ball's in so if the ball is in your left hand down to the right if the ball is in your right hand down to the left so it's pretty much just a regular behind the back and then you flick straight up on the right stick so you're just running forward and then you're going to flick your right stick diagonally down to the opposite side. If the ball is in your left hand, down to the right. Ball is in your right hand, down to the left. And then you're going to flick straight up. So it's just a two motion. Either down to the right and straight up or down to the left and straight up. It's one of the two. Super easy, super simple. I feel like this is another really easy move to do. It's tied to your behind the back and dribble styles. So certain dribble styles and behind the backs won't let you do it. But... That's pretty much how you do the nutmeg. Now, after you do the nutmeg, like once you do the inputs to do the nutmeg, you can run backwards and you could piece that into the Luka step back. Now, I don't know why I'm not getting the Luka step back the way I would on my tall build. I might have to just wait till I get on my tall build. All right, there's the Luka step back. Now, I like using the Luka step back with, this is the Zach Levine step back package, right? So with that, you guys are gonna get the meta step back and you guys are going to get this moving step back that's pretty much like the Luca step back. And I like using this move just to, you know, it's really good off the nutmeg. And it's just, it's just a really nice move to just get you open. You know what I'm saying? If you're sitting there comboing, you know, you can hit that little move, shoot off of it, misdirect off of it, speed boost off of it. I like using it a lot on my tall guard, so... It's just another move, you know what I'm saying? Now, the Luka step back, to do that, you're just going to hold R2 and flick straight down on your right stick. So, let me show y'all real quick. It's just R2 and straight down on your right stick. Some of these moves are so easy that I feel like you should be able to learn them without even having the hand cam. It's just R2 straight down on the right stick. So, just move in a direction, R2 straight down, boom as long as you're moving you will get the moving step back animation super easy super simple it's literally the same way as doing a regular step back you just have to be moving so that's how you guys do the moving step back the luca step back how you do the nutmeg into the luca step back now the next thing i'm going to teach you guys well wait let me see real quick if there's anything else small guard specific before i hop on my tall guard and teach you some tall guard stuff now, another thing with small guards or with tall guards, any builds at all, the quick stop that I like to use is the same 2K21 left stick quick stop. I mean, right stick quick stop. So you guys remember how you could throw the ball in between your legs in 2K21 and quick stop? That's basically the same quick stop I do this year. It's super easy, super consistent. And honestly, you get close to the same jump shot timing every time off of it. So it's, it's really nice. Now, to do this, you're just going to run in any direction, and then you're going to flick your right stick straight to the opposite side the ball is in. So if the ball is in your right hand, your right stick will go straight. If the ball is in your right hand, your right stick will go straight to the left. If the ball is in your left hand, your right stick will go straight to the right. So you're basically just flicking your right stick straight to the opposite side the ball is in. And then you're literally letting go. I mean, you're literally shooting immediately. So if you're just running around, this is the animation that you would get. This little like snatch animation. That's the animation you're looking to get. 
you master that and then all you got to do is just master shooting out of it fast so once you can master that move it'll be easy for you to just cancel it and shoot straight out of it now let me show you guys it with the hand cam real quick so then you guys can see you know what i'm talking about or whatever the case may be so with the hand cam you're running in any direction right just run in any direction if the ball is in your right hand you would flick your right stick straight to the left and then you would hold square immediately balls in your left hand you'd flick it straight to the right hold square immediately that's all you're doing that's all you got to do to do the quick stop it's super easy super simple a lot of these moves i'm teaching you guys everybody could do man now i'm not sure if there's any more small guard well, i'll show you guys a couple more things let me switch my sigs real quick and i'll show you guys a couple different things that you could do with different sigs right so another hesitation the two hesitations i'm torn between is kobe white and tyrese halliburton now, i love halliburton on my tall build i would never take it off of my tall build but kobe white is super overpowered for them small guards so let me go ahead and show you guys real quick Therese Halliburton. Now with this one, the hesitation, I already taught you guys how to do the hesitation earlier, so I'm not going to teach you how to do it again. You're just going to hold R2, flick your right stick, same side, boom. This is the Tyrese Halliburton hesitation. It gives you basically a same side speed boost, and I low-key like it. It's super overpowered, and with my tall build, I just love, like, piecing it into the snatchback is so devious, bro. Like, I'm telling you, I catch so many ankles and fry so many people off of that. And one thing I like to do is I like to spam crabs. So, I'm going to show you guys real quick how I use that to spam crabs, right? So, you'll do the hesitation, and then you'll do the crab move. Or you do the crab move into the hesitation right and you just spam it with the snatch back this little move right here just this little crab spam i'm telling you i get so many crabs off of just those four moves right there the escape the snatch back the hesitation i think that's three moves but i'm telling y'all bro now, if y'all want to get this long hezzy animation like this one this drag escape all you're doing is just an escape to the left and the right so you do an escape and before it fully plays out you do another one to the opposite side you could piece that into this that's what i really like doing is that bang and hit it with the snatch back it's really good ball you know what i'm saying these are really nice standstill combos and whatnot now, let me switch over to my tall guard and show you guys some tall guard stuff. Let me check the animations real quick just to make sure there's nothing else as far as... Okay, there's nothing else. I'm switching to my tall guard. I'm going to show you guys basically the moves on my tall guard. And we're going to get ready to wrap this video up. I got some more glitchy half spins and a couple more things to teach y'all. And we're basically, you know what I'm saying... I know this video is already 30 minutes long and I apologize if it's confusing at all or if there's any part of it that you just didn't understand or if it just wasn't good in some certain way. I do apologize, man, because I'm trying my hardest and this is a very hard video. Like dribble tutorials, when you know as many dribble moves as I know, it's hard to sit there and really just lock in and teach you guys everything. So now let's get straight to the tall guard i'm gonna show you guys the tall guard sigs everything like that and you know we'll see these tall guard stuff so i can show you guys basically the same moves but on tall builds now there's a few things i've changed since since um i've played on this build it's been a minute but these are the sigs that i run on my tall guard these look pretty accurate yeah these are aggressive breakdown combos off wait no that's good yeah, so these are the SIGs that I use on my tall guard, and I'm going to show you guys basically how I rock with them and stuff like that. So, where's my hop jumper? Hop jumper, normal two. No, we need that Tyrese Halliburton. All right, so tall guard, a few things I'm going to say, right? There's a couple moves. A lot of these moves work the same. When you copy my tall guard SIGs, your aggressive breakdown will be just like the Ja Morant. This, to me, is pretty close to the Ja aggressive breakdown on small guards. I cancel it with the escape, do pretty much the same exact thing. Escape, 
aggressive breakdown as you guys can see these are pretty much pretty close these crab moves i'm telling you guys it's pretty much the same stuff so let me show you real quick what stuff is the same and then i'll show you what stuff is limited or what stuff is only for tall guards so stuff that's the same right r2 flick your right stick straight up aggressive breakdown combo piece that right into the escape just like the john Morant, exactly like my small guard another thing that's pretty much the same is the crab moves the crab moves as you guys can see if you got Kobe escape, you're pretty much doing the same stuff that I was showing you guys on my small guard as far as getting the crabs. It pretty much looks exactly the same as what I was just showing you on my small guard. So that stuff is all pretty much the same. Another thing that's the same, Nutmeg, Lucas step back, that's also the same on this build. Um, another thing, I don't know. All I know is that a lot of these moves I just showed you guys a couple of minutes ago, the 720 spin, a lot of the stuff I showed you on my small guard, you could do on your tall guard. So if you're skipping to the tall guard part of the video, you just low-key missed out because the 720 spin like that, I just showed you how to do that on my small guard. A lot of the moves I do, I do on all builds. So when I drop a dribble tutorial, it don't matter what build I'm on. You could do it on all builds as long as I say you could do it on all builds. So, 720 spin, a lot of the stuff I just showed you, pretty much 90% of it all still works on this build. As far as the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper, what is going on, bro? That is not... I ain't gonna lie, bro. What just happened? Hop jumper, Tyrese Halliburton. You see, I didn't even put the right hop jumper on. I was sitting there for a second. I was like, yo, what? What is this? But the Jordan Clarkson hop jumper to cancel a lot of moves is exactly the same as it would be on your small guard. As you guys can see, cancel the escape. Cancel the behind the back. Cancel every move. Activates the speed glitch so your my player moves faster. Makes everything look different. So all the moves I showed you on the small guard pretty much work on this build. If you want to do the hezzy spam, like the escape spam, you could also do that on this build. All you have to do is really just go through your hesitations and find a good hesitation that matches with your escape, and you'll be able to do it. One of the ones I was looking at that worked was, I want to say, uh, I'm not going to lie, I think it was... I'm pretty sure it was Kobe. I'm going to show y'all real quick just to see. Yeah. See, it works with Kobe. Hold on. I was doing it too fast there. But it works with pretty much any hesitation. You just got to look through hesitations and escapes and see which ones pair together really good. I know the escapes on small guards, that Curry escape with that Kobe White. It's really devious, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. It's super devious. Um, but you just got to look through and pair different stuff up. Now, when it comes to the tall guard, there is a few combos on here I don't do on my small guard. Now, this is one of them. It's the go-to shot combination. Now, with this go-to shot, I like to piece it into multiple things, right? So, I do the go-to shot, and then I could do the half spin like that, and then piece that into more combos and just... Keep it rolling, you know what I'm saying? Snatch bag, you know, I could piece it into other stuff and keep it going. Or I could mix it up. I could do the go-to shot, and then I could make it look like I'm going to run back and run forward. And a lot of the time it catches people off guard because they think I'm running backwards, but then I just run forward. And as you guys can see right there, I got a super glitchy animation. A lot of the times you could get a really nice animation to get you into that paint. So I'm going to show you guys how I do a couple different variations of moves out of this go-to shot. Now to do the go-to shot, you're going to hold R2 and then hold your right stick straight up. So it's just R2 and holding your right stick straight up. You guys remember when I taught you guys how to do the aggressive breakdown, it's pretty much the same thing, but you're just holding your right stick straight up. So after you hold your right stick straight up and get the go-to shot, 
I usually cancel it after that little curry slide. So after that curry slide, I cancel it. Now from there, when you cancel it, you run backwards. So you're going to hold your left stick pretty much straight down and run backwards. Now from there, you can either hold your left stick straight up and run forward again to mix them up. So you could do it like this. Or you could do the half spin. Either way, I like comboing it up and I feel like it's super nice. So I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to do it. Now let me pull the hand cam up and I'm going to explain this to you guys with the hand cam on. So dun, 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 dun. let me find my cord for my hand cam because it literally just went missing. All right. Go to shot R2. Hold your right stick straight up. After you see the curry slide, start running backwards like that. Once you run backwards, you can either run forward and just cancel it out and just go forward for a dunk. Or you could do the half spin. So you're holding R2. Hold your right stick straight up. You're either going to go down or you're going to go up. It's one of the two, whatever you want to do. Now, if you want to do the half spin, now to do the half spin, right, it's really confusing. And this one might be the one that gets y'all and y'all are like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah. Oh, yeah. This might be the one that's a little complicated. So to do the half spin, what you're going to want to do is you have to be running backwards. So you have to run backwards. And when you run backwards, you're basically just going to hold R2 and you're going to do a half spin with the top of your remote. Now, it's based off of which hand the ball is in. Let me do it real quick so I can tell you guys the exact hands and the, the right rotation for each hand. So if you're running backwards and the ball is in your left hand, then you would flick your right stick then you would rotate your right stick from right to left. So if the ball is in your left hand, you're going from right to left just like this. If the ball is in the other hand, you're going from right to left like that. All right. It might be a little complicated. I'm, I'm going to try not to even explain it any more in depth than that. I'm just going to say all you do is just rotate your right stick, do a half rotation like that. Ball is in your left hand, you're going to the right. Ball is in your right hand, you're going to the left. That's all you're doing when running backwards to get a half spin. And if you run at a good angle, like if you run at a slanted angle, you could get that glitchy half spin that I showed you guys a minute ago. So that's how you do the half spin, the go-to shot, the run forward, all of that different type of stuff. I'm going to show you real quick the difference, right? So the nutmeg, you run backwards, that's the regular half spin. If you run at a certain angle, you could get a half spin like this. It's a glitchy half spin. So those are the two different half spins you could get, but they're both done the same exact way. It's just all about the angle that you're running at. So that's how you do the go-to shot. You know, run backwards, run forward. Go-to shot, run backwards. Hold on. Go-to shot, run backwards, half spin. That's how you guys do those two things. Other than that, there's not much that is really like limited. A lot of the moves I do, I do on all builds, the speed glitch, everything of that nature is all on tall builds. It's all on everything, man. So as of right now, I really don't know what else there is to teach you guys. You guys know pretty much everything. I mean... This is my regular breakdown combo on tall guards. You could piece this into pretty much whatever you want. I just like it because I like the speed boost, right? I just like getting that little speed boost out of it. So I usually use that as a combo ender. So when I'm getting ready to end the combo and speed boost out, I usually do that to get ready and speed boost out of that combo. But that's pretty much everything we're going to cover for today. I don't know what else there really is to go into. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I feel like we went through a pretty good amount of everything. We went over the nutmeg into the Luka step back. The nutmeg into the half spin. We also went over the crab combos. What sort of crab combos. How to spam the behind the back. How to do the snatch back. How to do the 720 spin. We went over the escape spam. 
we went over a lot of valuable stuff today quick stops all that you could also use this quick stop on tall guards so the people who was wondering if you could use that same quick stop on tall guards as you can see it still works on tall guards too so it works on the all builds it really doesn't matter that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the dribble tutorial, man. There might have been a couple things that I left out or a couple things that I do that I didn't show. But if I didn't show it, then I'll cover it when I hit starter for it. Because there's going to be a lot of moves that the Steve Francis and stuff like that. There's going to be a lot of new stuff that I'm going to be showing you guys when I hit starter for. So just comment on this video if there's anything that I left out or anything that you guys want me to teach you at all when it comes to dribbling. And I'll make sure that I include that in the other version. I'm going to take a look at the SIGs one more time just to see. Because sometimes if I look at my SIGs, I could think of more dribble moves to teach you guys. Because I pretty much use all of my SIGs for something very different. So, just give me one second. Look at these SIGs. Aggressive breakdown, regular breakdown, dribble style, pass style, spin jumper, go to, hop jumper. It looks like we're straight, man. It looks like I pretty much taught y'all everything as far as dribbling. All the stuff that I do, I'm going to show you guys real quick um, some clips just so we can end the video off and you guys can see some of these dribble moves actually in action because I know seeing the dribble moves and me teaching you it, it might be like... It might be helpful to learn the moves, but seeing me actually use them and seeing me actually combo with them, that's a whole different story. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to that, you know, it is what it is. You feel me? Like, I feel like if I just show y'all some of these clips real quick, y'all will, will definitely, you know what I'm saying? So as far as clips, I'm going to pull this video up. This was from one of my recent videos where I repped up. So if you guys are interested, you guys can go ahead and check that video out. It was a really good video. But I'm going to just show you guys a couple things and show you guys how I use some of these actual moves in real games. You know, the escape spam, the crabs, everything. You guys will be able to see this stuff in action, right? So this was just me repping up. Right here, you guys are going to see snatch back, one of the best moves to get open. You know, I'm hitting tights with the snatch back. This is another move with the snatch back. I was spamming crabs right there. You've seen the hesitation into the escape, into the snatch back. Snatch back's really good. As you guys seen there, it was aggressive breakdown, hesitation. It's a lot of what I do, man. You guys do that hesitation, that Tyrese Halliburton into the escape, into the snatch back. There's the 720 spin into the hesitation, into the snatch back. All the moves that I showed you guys today, I use in real games and use them to cook people like pretty much every day. You know what I'm saying? There's the escape, the regular breakdown, go to shot into the half spin, hesitation into the snatch back. Like I showed you guys, that hesitation into the snatch back on my tall build is a different breed. You guys are seeing it. It's a different breed. These dribble moves, they're not just show off dribble moves. These are dribble moves that actually are nice. You see a snatch back, one of the best moves to get open. Make it look like you're going to rim run. Hit them with the snatch back. Escape, regular, you know, aggressive breakdown into the escape, into the snatch back. I love using that stuff for crabs, bro. Escape, regular breakdown, aggressive breakdown, no matter what it is. The escape combos. They're overpowered. Nutmeg into the half spin. Go to shot. Glitchy spin. Snatch back green. As you guys can see, all these moves are being used in real time. This is how I use them, man. Escape. Aggressive breakdown. Right there, I'm just spamming escapes, aggressive breakdowns, and snatch backs. And when I spam those three moves, I get a ton of crabs, bro. That's just how I get my crabs. I stand there and I spam escapes and spam aggressive breakdowns and do my standstill stuff. And I'm telling you, eventually you're going to get a crab. You guys are seeing. So I know basically the best of both worlds. You guys are seeing me do the nutmegs, the glitchy 360, 720 spins, the half spins. You guys are seeing me do the movement. And you guys are also seeing me do the standstill, getting the crabs, standing still, comboing up, and getting the shot off, staying in the same spot. I could stay in the same spot, but I'm still going to get the shot off. As you guys can see here, the nutmeg into the Luka step back, one of the best combos in the game, like I was telling y'all. So basically, this is how you use these moves. You know what I'm saying? The moves that I showed you guys, these are just some clips of those moves in action. I just made the 5-9, so you guys will get some 5-9 gameplay really soon. 
But as far as these moves that I showed you guys today, they should turn you into an elite dribbler. There's no reason why this video should not teach you how to do the majority of the stuff I do. And if there is anything I left out, it was maybe one or two dribble moves. And those one or two dribble moves definitely weren't important enough if I forgot about them. So in my next video, I'll cover everything I pretty much can. As you guys are seeing, though, a lot of these moves are very effective in game and they get you open the snatch back. Everything that I'm teaching you guys works everywhere. I'm in the stage. I'm in the rec. I'm in the proving grounds. I'm in the theater. There ain't a place you can't say this stuff works and there ain't a place you can't say I didn't cook up in or I didn't cook up in. Everywhere I go, I'm cooking up. These dribble moves are effective for every single game mode and they're good for every single height. That's one of the best things about this dribble tutorial today is I didn't even have to go over much for the tall guard. You want to know why? Because you guys are seeing me do the same thing on my tall guard that I do on my small guard. It's all the same. I always figure out a way to combo up and do the same exact thing small guards do on tall guards. The only things that will be really limited to the small guards is the Steve Francis combos and stuff of that nature. But everything else as far as the crab combos, nutmeg combos, and everything I showed y'all today right here. As you guys are going to see, go to shot. Right there, I use the go to shot to get a three off. And then you guys are going to see right here or in the next clip. I don't know which clip it was. One of these clips coming up, I use the go-to shot to end up getting off a two. My dog is stepping on my mic. Got to love it. Got to love it. But, you know, that's like three back-to-back -back clips of me using the go-to shot for a three. And then you guys are going to see right here how glitchy it is when I go for the two. So you guys see how versatile that is, bro? I just used it. I'm using it right there to get a three with the snatch back. And then I'm also using it to get the two. So these moves are very versatile. They're very good for everything. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able to combo up like a different breed after this video. You guys know all the comp stuff, all the stuff you need to know. Until the next dribble tutorial, your boy hunt is out. If there's anything I missed or anything y'all want to see, let me know. And when I drop the second tutorial, you guys will get everything that you asked for. Anything I missed, you guys will get it all. But yeah, your boy Han is out. Thank you guys for watching, and I apologize for such a long video. I tried my hardest to teach you guys as many moves as possible. I literally just sat in my court, and everything I could think of, whenever I thought of it, I'm like, okay, let me teach them that next. And I just taught you guys everything that came to mind until nothing else came to mind. You guys got the nutmegs, half spins, 720s. You guys got pretty much everything. Go-to glitchy combos, escape spam, speed glitches. You guys got it all. You should be good now until the next tutorial. And until then, your boy Han is out. Thank you guys for watching. Try and get this to 500 likes.